Hi Scorpio, how you doing? It's your girl Root. Welcome back again to, uh, well, sorry, this is new. <laughs> this is your healing journey that the ancestors have me doing a little more in depth on the, our healing process. Little information that um, maybe you didn't know and things that I'm learning and didn't know that I was, I'm being taught, I'm sharing with y'all and uh, affirmations that we should be saying to ourselves uh, each day and you know uh, medical affirmations as well and uh, some plants and herbs so you see uh, <clears throat> affirmations of truths they have a saying and uh, medical affirmations uh, edible and healing plants and some other things chakras so yeah, um, they'll have more in depth as I go along, Scorpio. Note. So let's get started. So what I do is the regular thing, deal, and then uh, let how many cards they want to drop and do all of it. And then we break it down, see what they're saying to us. So hope y'all having a great week. Your family, your, you and, and your family as well. And opening your minds, trying to be on your healing journey, whatever that may be. I'm here for everybody, because I love everybody. I love everybody a lot. But I just want us to respect each other and know the truth about everybody, you know. That's why I post a lot of stuff, because I love everybody. But yeah, so let's see what the first card is, Scorpio. Okay, just want to get all tangled. It's a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what they want you to know. It could be more than one. I hope it don't be a whole bunch of them. But, um,. Uh, We'll see, we'll let them decide. Scorpio, do you know how important your role is in this universe? Read up on yourself if you don't know. And the body. Okay, one sticking out, Scorpio. We're gonna take that. Okay, we're gonna put this to the side. Uh, my daughter was in here messing with my stuff. So we're going to go to medical affirmations next. Uh oh. My battery stopped earlier. I had to go in. Charge it up. Hope it wasn't from haters. They don't know what I'm doing. Okay. They don't understand. People want to stay stuck. I don't. Like I said, I don't want to know everything, but I want to know enough. And I want to move to my highest potential. We want to come back and repeat the same thing. So, yeah. Let's see what else they want you. I'm going to go ahead and take that squad now. So, that's two. Now we got the edible plants. What plant they want you to work on or coincide with the reading or something that's you know something you wanted to you were asking about and needed to know you know or somebody you know and love you know or just somebody you know <laughs> so we'll see what that's about um cut my better off in a minute I ain't got that much gas, but letting it go that fast, that much. Ought to be good and uh, charged back up. I took it to AutoZone, so. Let's see. What plants y'all want? Sometimes it's more than one scoping up. So we'll see what they want. I guess these, huh? Okay. Oh, you almost got the same thing as the Libra Libra. Okay, y'all. Let's see. Ugh. Oh. Okay, these are some good ones, Scorpio. All right, let's do the first first. Um, 
I will tell you how I feel about you. Oh, that's good for y'all, and it, Scorpio? Because <laughs> y'all like to hold stuff in, and I got Scorpio on my chart, and sometimes I do, too. I do. I got to admit it. Y'all, stop being so secret. Let people know how y'all feel about them. You know, ain't no being no wimp. They don't show no weakness, you know. But some mean, you know, not everybody, not every Scorpio. You got some Scorpio according to everybody's chart, birth chart. You know, your birth chart is Debbie. Go to www.astro.com and uh, go to horoscope, put on the menu, go to uh, natal charts, fill out all information. If you have access to your birth certificate, put the time you were born, if they put it on there. <clears throat> if they didn't put 12, 12 p.m., it's pretty accurate. And study yourself, and then you'll know your rising, your moon, and all the other planets. But yeah, um, tell people how you feel. She people don't know. My daughter's so secretive. We're not sure. I know she's mad about a lot of things that went on. And, um, you know, uh, I tell her I love her all the time. She tell me it back. She tell me sometime, too, you know. But I know she upset about a lot of things. And I'm, I'm wanting her to enjoy her best life. So, yeah. That's the first one, Scorpio. They didn't drop us another one, but they gave two medical. So, let's see. I don't like groupies. Sex regular. So, if you don't like that, then tell somebody of, you know, uh, maybe you need to, if you like it too much, maybe it's time to slow it down. Or if you do, tell your partner, please. Okay? Uh, don't be sneaking around. I know some people who are sneaking around. They don't want their partners to know anything. And that is so unfair, y'all. You know, you're bringing all that stuff back to your partner. You're not even taking a spiritual bath. You're not going to the doctor. You know what I'm saying? Before you go in there with her, you're not even, you're bringing whatever was on that person back to your children, to your house, in your car. You don't know what's out there. What entities you just slept with. I don't care if you've been knowing the person. That could have been a demon just to make sure that you stay off, off course. You know, a lower entity or whatever. So tell y'all partners, please. Y'all that still want to mess around. You want to have sex with more than one. You want them to participate. You got people that are that's fine with that. You know, look for them type people. But most of y'all don't want them. That is so selfish. Look for somebody who think like you. Don't be trying to mess with other people's minds. And uh, you want to have sex with men and women, tell the person. They might feel the same way. It might be a relief to them. You know? So, yeah, that's the second one. Another medical affirmation is uh, I have strong energy. I keep myself energized. Thoughts, pray crystals. I pray in crystal and do crystals. Okay, y'all. So, that's great if y'all are. Um, spell strong wrong, but that's okay. But yeah, this is something that you probably need to do, a medical affirmation that you need to say to yourself and do it. Stay strong, keep your energy strong, your spiritual bath, eating right, eating the right foods. We're going to talk about the right foods and um, other things that may be missing to make your energy go down. Prayer, crystals, uh, you know, you got to help yourself as well. You can pray, yes, yeah, true, it's great. that's great, but you also got to help yourself in prayer with the prayer. Crystals are great. Crystals are part of the earth. Since we all got in human form, we need the crystals and minerals that are in the earth. And that's just science. You know, that's just something that's needed. There's no questions asked. You know, you purify them. Um, I wash mine off with sea salt. Some of them will tell you how to wash them off. You know, bless them with oil or Florida water. The full moon, you know, keep them energized. Keep you energized. Wear it on you. Wear a necklace, bracelet. Put it in your arm things right here if you have to, you know, to keep you uh keep your energy flowing. So if y'all haven't been doing that, that's something that they said. Okay, I'm gonna do this one first. Um, these two cards right here go together. Magnolia tree. So, <clears throat> yeah, Libra got this too. So uh, don't use the the plant if you're going into surgery. Stop taking for two weeks to avoid excessive bleeding and complications from uh, the anesthesia, anesthesia, avoid hormone sensitive condition, cervical cancer, prostate cancer. So if you have any of these things before I read you, don't 
you know, don't use this plant. Really research it. Indonesius una, unary fly, fibroids, pregnancy, nursing mothers, children, people with bleeding disorders, hemophobia, phob, whatever that is, y'all seen that word. Yeah, hemophilia. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so, the health benefits of it is used for mood disorder, tooth decay, chest tightness, breathing problems, cardiovascular health, hormones. So, really read it off on the hormones, okay? Um, Alzheimer's disease, gum disease, bad breath, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, nerve system, brain health, high flashes, vagina dryness, loss of lipo, lipidu. Y'all can look it up yourself too, but yeah. And I think I um, did a little bit online and read to Libra. Let me see, let me make sure. A little boy in death about it, y'all. Let's see. Um, hopefully I still have it. Yeah, I do. Okay. A little bit more um, about the magnolia plant. Uh, let's see. It's a beaver tree. Uh, cortex magnolia, whatever, whatever. Uh, let's see. And some other words. People use the bark and the flower buds to make medicine. Magnolia is used for weight loss, weight loss, problems with digestion, constipation, inflammation, anxiety, stress, depression, fever, headache, stroke, and asthma. Magnolia flower bud is used for stuffy nose, runny nose, common cold, sinus pain, hay fever, headache, and facial dark spots. Some people apply magnolia flower bud directly to the gums for toothaches. That's so good to know, y'all, because I show sure up and having it. If rubbed on skin care products, if rubbed on skin care products, magnolia flower bud extract is used as a skin whitener and to minimize or counteract skin irritation caused by other ingredients. So that's good to know, y'all. In traditional Chinese and Japanese medicine, magnolia bark is an ingredient in hangi kobuku 2 which is composed of five planet extracts and saiboku 2 which is composed of 10 plant extracts you know I don't know what I'm saying these extracts are used to decrease anxiety and nervous tensions and to improve sleep some researchers believe hanokilo a chemical in magnolia bark is what makes these medicines work. So yes, yeah, for weight loss and you know. Uh, so yeah, so that's pretty interesting, huh, y'all? And I had another card. And uh, let's look at this one before I even say that. Let's see. Because uh, this one right here, the cactus, the prickly flower, and. Uh, Hair and flowers, all that's good. I use it in my lotions and everything. Uh, but you can also have it by your computer to stop the um, the. Uh, let me turn this off, y'all. Yeah, sorry. To stop um, all that. What I'm trying to say, you know, from the computer coming into your body and all that kind of stuff. They even got some uh, incense for that as well. So yeah, that cactus is very good. Um, let's see the benefits. Yeah, uh, let me see. I need to put it on the back. I'm sorry, y'all. Also known as no pill, blah, blah, blah. It promotes treating diabetes, high cholesterol, obesity, hangovers. It also, uh, antiviral and anti-inflammatory properties. Okay, let's go off into it. So maybe I was looking for something for these, uh, What? Okay. Excuse me. Sorry, yeah, I'm back. So yeah, um, sorry, reading. Oh yeah, you can and for electronics, it's good for um to stop the electronics coming in your body and being so strong. 
We found that out by accident, y'all. Some preliminary evidence shows that prickly pear cactus can decrease blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. Some result, researchers also suggest that prickly pear cactus ex extract may lessen the unpleasant effects of a hanger over, possibly due to its anti-inflammatory effects. So that's good to know. It might be too early to call. Sorry, y'all, about that. Um, yeah, so, um, what was I? Okay, antibiotic, um, indeed, prickly pear cactus is popular in many areas of the world, particularly in Latin America, where it, it, it is a native plant. The edible parts are the leaves, flowers, stems, and fruits. Prickly pear cactus is eaten whole, balled, or grilled. It is also made as a juice and jams and as a tea, y'all. If you like to try prickly pear cactus, consider easily easing into it. Side effects for some people include mild diarrhea, nausea, increased stool volume, increased stool frequency, and a abnormal fullness. So make sure, you know, yeah, go slow about it. Read more about it before y'all use it, okay? Y'all was looking for something like that. Okay, let's do the chakras. We didn't pull the chakra cord. And see what the chakra has to say. I got 13 of them, y'all. Let's see which one they want y'all to be into today. Universal Father. So what's that we're talking about, Scorpio? Okay. So the Universal Father, 15th chakra, located in deep space. The God Principle, or Emerald Guardian, Stations of Identity. We can just say about how important you was in the universe. We just mentioned that, didn't we? You got Father Universe. Hey, they own the money. Okay, let's see, uh, Scuppino. Let's do a little research on that, a little more in depth. Do I have Universal Father written down? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, I pulled it up. I probably did then. Okay, it is. <clears throat> I see one little more. Okay. Uh. There's a pale mag magnetic some in color and located in deep space beyond the integration of the ascend ascended stages of the Gamos sacred marriage integration and the pale violet ray ignites in the 12th chakra and will ascend up the unfiled chakra column. Okay, let's see connects to the universe father ray and its pale mag magnet nada in color and located in the deep space okay we got that uh, merging with the first chakra and further merges with the mother aqua ray and will reside as an emerald green ray and in steel point of the chest this is cosmic holy father of god principle or emerald guardian when it is fully embodied. I'm sorry, y'all, them kids. Y'all yeah, getting a lot of distractions, Scorpio? I'm back. Sorry about that. So, yeah, um, this is a cosmic... Wait a minute, I'm going to stop that. Right? Which resides as an emerald green ray in the steel point of the chest. This is the cosmic holy father of God principle, of uh, emerald guardian when it is fully embodied. The individual embodiment is elevated out of the first second and third dimension chakra wave spectrum and this protects that person from interaction or becoming consubstant women consubstantial consubstantial con c-o-n s-u-b Constantial, C O N S U B S T A N I T A L. I cannot say that even break it down. With those lower density energies of the material world. Okay. So it won't let anything get to you. You protect it. That's really what it's saying. 
to connect to the founder um, the, and reclaim our Father of God principle, Father Art, Ark of for the planet and humanity, we connect to the Magna Ray of Father Ark. The Magna Ray was previously under control of the distortions made from the invasion of the planetary logos that made several distorted, distorted, that had sev severely distorted its companion seven dimension violet ray, which connects to the 1D earth core to merge with the mother arc, aqua ray. The moon chain lingers where sending magnetic field distortions to promote the archon controller particle domination archetypes to the masculine which manifest genetic damage on our planet the Marcons. i'm gonna read a little more but y'all need to look off into this for real a mother arc is what has brought forth the holy father again reclaiming its consciousness pieces for planet earth so yeah y'all probably need to read off into this and get more deep y'all know y'all get deep anyway uh, Scorpio. But yeah, this is, uh, this is y'all. Definitely. And it's for me too. I'm a Scorpio. I got it all in my chart. Okay. So let's see. So put that to the side. So let's go on to, um, what's needed to even think these ways and what's missing. That food they and having this store they sell now don't have any nutrients in it it's made in laboratory we are hybrids true enough but we still need these nutrients from mother earth and most of them copper and the melanin that they're making us take out our skin y'all and uh trying to convince us that's our ticket to the universe so we have to be careful about that but these are some ways to get it back in there uh by using beef liver oysters Lobster, lamb, liver, squid, dark chocolate, oats, almonds, uh, sesame seeds, cashew nuts, sunflower seeds, mushrooms, uh, side effects, too much toxin, uh, too much of uh, copper could give you nausea, vomiting, uh, diarrhea, stomach pain, back black uh, stool headaches difficult breathing irregular heartbeat um you can go into a coma state yellow skin low blood kidney and disease and liver disease uh so copper is very important and without it y'all they're taking fits and people to take the melanin out their body saying one culture better than another when you be up be careful because they stealing from you. They using it for themselves to go to higher realms. That's just something y'all to find out. That's why they get the universal father. Okay. Let y'all know what's really happening. So. Uh, see in the 